Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome to part three of The Lion's Song. If you are just from last time, you'll understand that we uh, were composing a musician stuff with the musical writing thing, and now we're in a well, which is probably another dream sequence. She already had one, and this one is a lot less pleasurable than the last one. Oof, I can't move. I'm paralyzed. Hmm, cool. A little too... Uh, oh, can I do stuff? All right. The rain thunders on the water's surface, and the water is rising. Even if I could move, I could not climb up them. The damp stones, I mean. I can't get out that way. Well, the water is rising, and I can't move. My feet, the mud grips them like dead things. I've got to get out of here. Hello? Is someone down there? Yes, yes there is. Hello there. Please help. Hello? Is anyone down there? Yes, down here. The rain is too loud. I can't hear you. Uh, help me please. Get me out of here. Can you climb up? No! My feet are stuck in the mud! So how did you get down there? I, d I fall- I fell in, asshole! <laughs> I can't remember! Don't panic! Mm, it's a difficult problem. The water is rising! Please do something! The stones are slippery. I don't want to fall in. Wait here, Vilma. I'll try and get help. Yeah, how do you know my name? Wait! How do you know my name? I can't hear you. I will try to find help. Uh... Leos? Maybe? <laughs> the storm has gotten worse. Day 3. Yeah, I'd probably look like that, too, if I slept on a desk for two days straight. If only I could leave. No. I must finish the piece. I owe it to everyone. The melody. It's right on the tip of my brain. Vilma, concentrate. Huh. Another noise. Tick. What was that? Oh no, not something else. It's the heart underneath the floorboards of the man you killed! Yeah, never mind. To Edgar Allan Poe, I suppose. The noise is coming from in there. I can't hear melodies in this din. Yeah, that slight tick-tock is really messing up your chi, I suppose. I can't hear music in this din, this noise. That's, there's something called insanity that you might want to check out. <laughs> oh, actually that's, that's an actual term, isn't it? Wait, wait, um, um, misophonia? I think misophonia is, is the hatred of, of certain sounds. But it seems like she hates, like, uh, unmelodious sounds in general. Um, okay, a key. Looking for a key. Where would I put a key? Uh, well, tropally, I would put keys. Why does he have flowers outside here? Oh, here's a key. Underneath the key flowers. <laughs> I get it. Very well done, Al, sir. A pocket watch. I almost had it. I've got it. The ticks of the old watch shatter her imagination. The fragments dissolve and gradually fade into silence. Asa must have had a reason to lock this letter away. Uh, yeah, we're gonna read it. We're, we're snooping like a snoopaloop. My beloved Asa, 
I can hardly wait to see you again. The memory of your last visit still hangs in the air. Like a note that, after the orchestra has already finished, lingers on. It fills me with dreams, feelings, and longings for you. Uh, yeah, this is juicy stuff. Sometimes I want to get away from Vienna. I want to travel with you across Europe and further. With every year senses what was fine in this city. What was worthwhile and grand, now ebbing away. The voices also sounds, sound the same these days. Just echoes from better times long past. Vienna is losing itself. But the city, its people, they do not care. They see to it that things keep on as they are, instead of doing something about it. I don't want to stand by and watch. I hear Berlin is the future, full of beauty and hope. Let's go there sometime. What do you think? Please tell me soon. Yours, Greta. Another one? Arthur. Aww. Aww. Also has, has a little something something on the side. Several pictures are drawn in chaotic style. Many facets of the same person. A bell deformed of multiple facets. Eh, looks like it's going pretty well with all those little red dots on there. The composition is developing well. There are already several great passages. But still a lot to write. Uh, well, a state that is to be preserved during a transformation can be recovered by applying another transformation. The transformations over the course of a piece of music. Can one prolong an emotion through variation? Variation from a fast tempo to a slow tempo. Maybe if I... Yes. That's wonderful. Good. My favorite poem is in here. The Panza by Rainier Maria Rilke. His gaze against the sweeping of the bars has grown so weary it can hold no more. To him, there seem to be a thousand bars. And back behind those thousand bars, no world. A dark, strong beast trapped in a cage. The sound of a secluded piano. Behind it, silence. Eh, I've heard better. If I get what you're saying, artist person. You can barely... It's been... It's been seven minutes. <laughs> but I don't have enough time. No, try to stay away. You gotta get this done. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. I mean, if it was me, I would go to sleep, and I would procrastinate as much as I possibly could, but I, I suggest you stay awake. Her eyelids become heavier and heavier. In the haze of fatigue, the notes in her music become a blur, and quietly new ones emerge. Crap! <laughs> uh, poor Vilma. I have to say though, that was that was a much shorter part. I'll just I'll just keep going. I'll let it ride. Huh? Huh? Who is it? Seven days. Until until you come back to the salon and play for us. Uh oh. I'm I'm not Leos. <laughs> Good evening, Vilma. Why did you call me? <laughs> uh funny that you would ask that. Wha what do you mean? This is getting weird. Why do you always try to make other people happy? But I don't. So what do you want? Uh, I want to be successful. I want to be successful. Ah. 
That's more like it. At last we're talking about what you want. I believe you can be successful. But what are you going to do to achieve success? Uh, I don't know if I'll say I'll do whatever it takes, because that's, that's a little absolutist. But I can't write this music. <laughs> I'll do what I do best. I'll write music. Good. Well, you had better get back to work then. Vienna deserves to hear your music. <laughs> Poor Vilma's face, like, oh no. I mean, I'm even getting getting myself on myself. Day four. There's a storm. It's here. Oh no no no. Yeah, whispering is disconcerting to say the least. I hope the cabin will survive the storm. The storm, the thunder, the lightning. Can I block them out? Go away! No. It doesn't work this time. I won't be able to finish. The storm, it's here. It's on top of me. I know it. I will drown in the storm. Okay. Be there. Please be there. Leos. What was the number he told me? Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was 1255. Please be there. Please be there. Please be there. Hello? Oh, thank God, Leos, you're there. Vilma, is that you? Oh, God. I'm so glad you're there. Uh, calm down. Calm down. What is it? It's all too much. What was that? Thunder. Real thunder this time, not my stomach. The storm is here. I'm so afraid. The thunder? Ah. But, uh, don't worry, it will be alright. Just just focus on my voice. Yes, your, your voice. Can you hear me? Y yes, you're definitely not whispering. You're right, I'm yelling. How does my voice sound like? Uh, I, I don't know, like, <laughs> you're not the w Going into a little bit of, a uh, little bit of insanity with the last option there. Stressed? Yes, I guess you're right. But I'm still here, yes. Why do you care? I do, I, I do. I'm old? <laughs> old? What? Me? Really? <laughs> I'm exactly the right age. Which is just old enough. You were not the whisper on top of the well. Who? I had a dream. I was drowning in a well. Someone came, but then they ran away. Not me. I would have helped you. I know. And it wasn't my father either. He wouldn't abandon me. And Arthur was never mine. Oh god, it... it was... Myself. Bum bum bum! Plot twist! Me, I was running away from myself. I was running away from my composition. It was an important dream. What is the doctor's name in Vienna? Freud? Exactly. He would approve of your interpretation, I think, yes? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Do you remember how you talked me into calling Nicole? Oh, yeah. What did you do? I called her. I did it. I'm a stubborn old Czech. <laughs> I called her anyway. And what did she say? She was overjoyed. She said that I should visit her as soon as possible. Can you believe it? I'm glad. I simply had to call her. The silence that followed our last call. As soon as your voice was gone, I was reminded of how lonely I really am. Are you still feeling lonely? Not anymore. Not when I'm talking to you. 
I'm glad that I can talk to you. Uh, yeah, I feel the same way. Best friends, together forever, through 1930s Austria. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I can hear you breeze. Are you still there? Yeah, still here. What are you doing? I am writing music. What about that storm? Still here too. It no longer disturbs you? No. Wonderful. Das ist wunderbar. I can finish the song now. It is a song of courage. Of being yourself and facing the shadows. May I hear it? Yeah. You know, I'll play a little bit of it for you. I will pay, play it for you on my, uh, on my violin. This is wonderful. No, I'm not done, but soon. Until soon, then. Farewell, Wilma. Farewell, my friend. The composition is developing. There are already several great passages. Still a lot to write. Uh, what haven't I done? Can I use his unfinished composition? <laughs> Maybe. Composition is not finished. Yeah, plagiarize. That's what all great artists do. <laughs> the drawer is locked. Dusty. But empty. Let's see. The harmonic, the harmonic framework of the song is still missing. I know the melody would improve this song even further. I can still write a few variations. Uh, okay. Um. I. Uh. Well, you know what? I think that's a great place to stop for right now. If you like this, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this is the Misanthropic Lord, signing off. Have a good one, guys. Where is she now? What happened? Yeah, what happened, Leos? I just couldn't manage. I mean, I love her. We are... We were very close. Until I beat her into the head and buried her in the yard. But running the in and taking care of her, I couldn't do both at the same time. Yeah, did you, did you offer Leos? So she went to her parents- oh, okay. That's good. But I think things are better this way. Well, at least you didn't, didn't, you know, get rid of the problem, you know what I mean? See what I'm saying? Do you miss Nicole? Uh, yes. She's like a daughter to me. Huh? How about... Who looks after Nicole while her parents are traveling? A governess, I think. A certain Frau Schmoor. I don't know her. But I hear that she has very small problems. I don't even know what that's supposed to lead to. I'm not sure. I'd like to think so, yes. 